Well, this is my first time using a dado stack, so I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride uh, on this first time setup. So you can see I've got dado stack here. I've got the saw stop brake, uh, dado brake, and I've got a new zero clearance insert. First step, as always, make sure the saw is unplugged. Get started by removing the blade. And we'll go ahead and take the riving knife off too. Next, we'll swap out the brake for the dado stack brake. And I'll bring you in closer to see uh, how that works. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see, but the first step is to remove this red key pin. Second, we'll go ahead and pull off the standard brake. And then we will stick the new brake on. And then replace the pin. And lock it in place. And that's it. The uh, new brake is in. Now we'll go ahead and get our blade set up. I picked up this Diablo 8 inch dado on Amazon. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. On the front side, we have our two outer blades. And looks like some shims, spacers. Side are the chippers. And these are actually the spacers here. This small pack is shims. Okay, and this is the material that I'm working with. Um, and that is measuring 45.64. So that looks like that is 23.30 seconds. It's just a little bit loose. So we'll go ahead and set the blade up for that and see how it fits and then adjust from there. And we can see on the diagram here, 23, 30 seconds. We're obviously going to use both the outside blades, all three chippers, one shim, or one spacer, pardon me, and uh, two of the shims. So we'll go ahead and get all that set up and locked in and uh, make a test cut and see how it works. Okay, I've got the blade installed, so the last thing to do um, is to check the spacing between the blade and the brake. And it's perfect, so looks like we're ready to get started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the blade, put our new insert in, and uh, we'll go ahead and bring the blade up to the insert first time. Uh, the dados I'm cutting for this project are only a quarter inch deep, so that's all the more I'm going to bring the blade up uh, through this new insert for now. I'm going to go ahead and bring the fence over top of the insert just a little bit, uh, just to help hold it down as the blade comes up through it. All right, the saw's powered on. I've got a green light, so I'll kick on the dust collection and uh, let it rip. Okay, that worked as designed. I did end up bringing it up a little bit higher just so I've got a little bit of a channel for dust collection. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty simple setup. I'm gonna go ahead and make a test cut, see how my fit is for my project parts, and uh, 
go ahead and get subscribed and hit that like button and uh, cabinet project will be coming out soon. Thanks.